Radar. Radar is an acronym for Radio Aid to Detection and Ranging. Primary radar works on the ECHO principle using pulse technique. ASMIR, Airborne Weather Radar or Aerodrome Surveillance approach radar. On striking the target, some of the energy will be reflected and we will return to the point of transmission. The time lapse from the known transmission time to the time of reception is used to calculate the time it has taken the radio signal to travel out to the target and back again. In a primary pulse radar, one directional aerial is used both for transmission and reception. Radar is now used in aviation in many diverse roles, including air traffic identification separation, weather detection, navigation, determination of velocity, determination of range, and digital communications. Pulse techniques and associated terms. Frequency F in hertz. Wavelength, lambda in meters. Speed of light, C in meters per second. Time intervals, typically in microseconds. Most radar equipment transmits signals that are pulse modulated. The signals are emitted in short bursts of high energy. The duration of the pulse is known as the pulse width or pulse length and is generally given in microseconds. This will determine the minimum range. Pulse techniques and associated terms. The time interval between the start of transmission of successive pulses is known as the pulse repetition interval, generally abbreviated to PRI, and is given in microseconds. PRF and PRI. Sometimes the pulse repetition frequency, PRF, or pulse repetition rate, PRR, will be quoted and will determine the maximum range. This is the number of pulses transmitted in a second, PPS, and may be shown as a number of hertz. This is not the transmission frequency. Pulse repetition frequency is inversely related to pulse interval. Radar, maximum theoretical range. The formula for maximum theoretical range for radar is C, the speed of light, divided by 2 multiplied by the pulse repetition frequency. To double the range of a radar, you must increase the power by a factor of 16. A radar facility transmitting a pulse recurrence frequency PRF of 1200 pps will have a maximum theoretical range of approximately 67 nautical miles. A radar facility transmitting with a pulse recurrence interval of 4 milliseconds will have a maximum unambiguous range of approximately 324 nautical miles. Aerial size. If space is limited and aerial sizes are restricted, shorter wavelengths will give narrower beams. Beam width. The beam width also affects the ability of the radar to discriminate between targets in azimuth. If two targets are at the same range and are close enough in bearing that they fall within the beam at the same time, they will appear on the radar display as one target. Attenuation. At wavelengths less than 10 centimeters, attenuation due to intervening weather increases rapidly, so return signals are weakened. Pulse length. The energy content of a pulse is increased if the number of cycles transmitted during the pulse is increased. If the pulse length is short, its energy content can be increased by increasing the frequency. However, designers must keep in mind that an increased frequency will increase attenuation. Dish diameter. Beam width in degrees is equal to 70 multiplied by the wavelength divided by dish diameter, where wavelength and dish diameter are in the same units. The elements of a cathode ray tube. The cathode, when heated, emits electrons which pass through the first, second and third anodes and are deflected by X and Y plates onto a fluorescent screen. The grid directs electrons away from the cathode and the anode accelerates electrons away from the grid. Primary versus secondary radar. 
Secondary radar works on the principle of sending out a signal on a specified frequency, but receiving the return on a different frequency. The advantages of this are that most errors of primary radar are eliminated. Long range area surveillance radar. Long range area surveillance radar units are used to monitor aircraft on airways and advisory routes to ensure separation and for navigation. The radar units are usually located at remote sites with the associated displays at the ATC centre. Radar information is relayed to the centre by digital communication links. In order to provide the maximum coverage, the radar must be capable of a performance that will give long range up to 200 to 300 nautical miles and will be little affected by intervening weather. They should also be capable of a reasonable degree of target discrimination. Aerial rotation speed must be low enough to allow for sufficient target illumination. Terminal Area Surveillance For terminal area surveillance, it is necessary to increase the rate of target information renewal and to improve target discrimination. The demand for range is considerably reduced with a maximum of around 80 nautical miles. Aerodrome Surveillance Radar These units are used to provide guidance to aircraft during approach or departure. Such units require good target discrimination accurate range and bearing, and rapid target information renewal rate, all to a range of around 25 nautical miles. Lastly, aircraft surface movement radar. ASMIR operates on frequencies in the SHF band, employing an antenna that rotates at approximately 60 RPM. It is sometimes possible to determine the type of aircraft from the return on the radar screen.